Hi, I am Tyler Cordell. This is my partner, Amanda Drennan. We are here at Highland Springs High School in an English 11 collaborative class. Today, we are going to be making inferences based off prior knowledge and new information that we will learn. What you have just witnessed in our class is we have been focusing on literary elements and every day in our English class our students read for about, in our class that we have every day, about 20-25 minutes. What we were working on today is locating those literary elements out of their book and what the students will do now is they wrote it on sticky notes and we're going to put it over on the board so the kids can check out other students and be reminded of what they can be looking for every time they read. So, hey, hey, Everybody show. get up and put your sticky note. Y'all go for it. <laughs> Just walk. Scribble something down real quick. Note. Okay. I got a really, really quickly, guys. Just You're fine. put your sticky note. Put it over yeah. there on Just the blue board. Mr. you want to plug that in? And as soon as you sit back down, I need you to get your laptops out. We're going to Nearpod very quickly. The coach? Can we pull up on this? Yes. Hey, can I tell you something? I would love to talk to you about the current spring ramp. We can have a whole conversation about it. All right? Because I, I, I don't want to seem like I'm not listening to you, but I want, I want to give you my undivided attention. A charger? Hey, so I don't have to go behind Mr. Ernest's desk. Does anyone have a charger Khalil could use? No. I just need to unplug that. No. Wait. Never mind. We got it. Last time we saw you, last time we had a lesson together, we started talking about inferences. Who can raise their hand and tell me what they remember about an inference? You guys do inferences every day. We just don't call it inferences. So, imagine. Someone comes into the building. We haven't been outside in a while. They got an umbrella and they shake it off and then they unbutton their coat. What can we infer about that person? What can we infer about what's going on outside? Jalen, thank you for raising your hand. That it was raining? That it was raining. Did anyone tell you it was raining? No. But we've seen umbrellas before. We've seen people come inside from before and have to shake all that water off. 
No one told us it was raining, but we used that prior knowledge. We used the new information. We were able to say it was raining outside. So on your screen, you'll see it making inferences. Remember that as you read, you synthesize new information with information you already have by making connections between what you know, that's your prior knowledge, which you already come into this building with every day, and what you are learning right now as you read. It's kind of like a puzzle piece. We take our two pieces, prior knowledge, what we learn, we put it together, and we are able to make that inference. We know what is going on now. So we had that little half sheet last time where we were making inferences. You guys turn it in, we're gonna go over some of those things. Remember. Everyone was surprised when she got into Harvard, but only she knew the truth of how she managed to do it. What is some of our prior knowledge? What do we know about what's going on in this statement? Khalil. There's something she's not telling. All right, that's, that's the new information. Look at Harvard. What is Harvard? Harvard is a college. Amaya, what do we know about Harvard? Um, it's a good school. It's a good school meaning what? It's very hard to get into. Me, being a teacher, you think I can make it in Harvard? Yes, probably. Man, hey, that means a lot, but probably not. I'm gonna tell you right now, Harvard is a tough school to get into. So, that new information that we had, Khalil, what did you say? She's probably not telling us. She's probably not telling us something. If she got in, but only she knows how she did it, and everyone else is surprised, what kind of inference can we make based off of that? She's keeping a secret. What about that secret? She cheated. How did, what did she cheat on? She could have cheated on her SATs. What else could she have done? Think deeper. Make a deeper inference. We have all this information. She could have paid to get in. She could have paid to get in. What else? She could have cheated on the entrance exam. But think about some, one of you guys. This is your words from last time. College scandal. What do we know about a college scandal? What could a college scandal be? <laughs> Don't be bashful. What could a college scandal be? A teacher or a professor. A teacher or a professor. What about a teacher or a professor? She's not with them so they can, so she can get into school. Right on. So we said, had mess, slept around with one of the professors. Did anyone tell us that, though? No. That is making an inference. We took all that information we knew about Harvard. We took all that new information about her keeping the secrets. Then we were able to say, college scandal. She might have slept with someone. She might have cheated on an exam. None of those are wrong answers because we were using the information we have from before. So the That's next really one you guys had a really tough time with because it depends on your personal prior knowledge. So it states, Chris rolled his eyes when Jordan tried to kiss him. What did you have the biggest problem with? Amaya. Do you know people named Jordan that are girls? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know yeah. people named Jordan that are boys? Yeah. So it depended on which direction. So sometimes our prior knowledge leads us to make an incorrect inference. So we've got to, it's our own personal ideas of where it's going. This is how an author creates a twist in the story or something that leads you this direction, but you find out later that's not the correct inference. All right, so what is your prior knowledge about these two? They're in a relationship. In a relationship. It seems like they're in a relationship. Excellent, Khalil. Right? What else do you think is going on here? Jordan might have done something now that's going to be your new information. So your prior knowledge, these two seem to be in a relationship. What clue gives you that indication? Kiss. kiss, right? I heard a bunch of people say they're trying to kiss. So the new information that you're given, we have rolling eyes. What does that lead you to believe? that Chris is mad at Jordan. Now, let's dig even deeper to find an even deeper inference. What could have made Chris mad at Jordan? Lee Kwan. Found bad news. Okay, found bad news. Can we go even deeper into that inference? What is the bad Ryan. news? Ryan. What about a boy? He probably don't like boys, so that he kissed him, probably get irritated. Okay, so your prior knowledge gives Jordan's name as masculine and that these are two boys kissing, right? So there's 
a lot of directions that this could go in. Right? One of you put, Jordan maybe cheated on Chris, or her breath just smells horrible. How many of you thought that? Doesn't say her breath is horrible. So, this next part, we are going to practice making inferences. Remember the puzzle piece. You take what you already know coming in here, you read the statements that are on the screen, you put it together and you make an inference. Can inferences be right or wrong? Kind of, sort of. Again, if we're talking about someone with an umbrella and we think it's a oh, sunny no, day, no, no. that's the wrong way to go. But the deeper you dig, don't just tell us, there's a problem. What is the problem? He's not happy. Why is he not happy? Be specific. So looking at this one, for sale, baby shoes never worn. Take your prior knowledge. What do we know about baby shoes? What do we know about sales? Look about the information right now. What can we infer? What is going on in this situation? You type so it in you the type box. You type it in, you post it, then they're going to pop up there. You don't. A baby girl has grown out of her shoe size, and her mom's looking to sell them. Now, why were they never worn? <laughs> you got to think. Think, guys. Look, hey, they're ugly. I don't want to wear ugly shoes either, but... Never worn. Baby shoes never worn. Somebody has a baby and they probably couldn't fit the shoe. Is that a very deep inference into what could possibly have happened? Yeah. Can anybody get any deeper? Look at that next one. They could have had a, a birthday party if she could have done it. Yeah. Someone had a baby and lost it. They lost it in the woods. Did they lose it in the woods? No, what happened to the baby? It died. It died. Is that a deep inference? Yeah. Could that be a reason why those shoes were never worn? Yeah. All right, so someone had a baby, lost it. So there was no need for the shoes. Can we go any deeper? Yeah. How did the baby die? She was she fed. Why? Because she had a miscarriage. Why? Because she was on drugs. Drugs, what else? Uh, I'm, it it I'm not sure I could have that as an inference. She was on drugs I would have to go deeper. Drinking. Yeah. Drugs, drinking, what else could have happened? Ooh. She could have fell down the steps. Who pushed her? <laughs> Why? Do you see how you can keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper? <laughs> Hold on, Mr. Cordell's going to read some more of them. So, Soraya wants me to read her. It was a baby shower and the buyer didn't know the size. So the mother's looking to sell them. Hey, we could say that, but again, sometimes you want to do the right thing and give the shoes back so they get the money back. But again, too, think about sometimes, like, prior knowledge me. If I have a kid and I know I might have a kid again, sometimes you hold on to that stuff so you can recycle it, save money, not have to get new. But if I'm selling the shoes because the baby never wore them, Prior knowledge, why would you want to get rid of stuff if you might be able to use it again? Get money. Not only about money, but look, as a parent, all that other kind of stuff, like siblings, if you're trying to get rid of things because that baby's not there, think about feelings, how people might feel. It's not just getting money and all that other kind of stuff. Y'all want to try again? Do one more? Wait, Mr. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Just one. Click the next one. What about this one? So again, Deep inferences. Tell us why. Go ahead now. All right. Prior knowledge. He hit sin, then a tree. What do we know about hitting sin? Be deep. Be specific. Why? Why did it happen? This person is texting and driving. What clue? Hit a tree. Well, hit. Send. What do we do when we're hitting send? We are texting. And again, y'all, right. but crash and crash. What okay. happened at the crash? Yeah, Who was he, he texting? Hit a tree. But think about if I'm reading a book and the first line is, I think I might have to kill somebody. Am I just going to stop right there? No, no, no I want to keep reading it to find out why. If he crashed into a tree, what happens next? Why would we want to keep reading that book if we're going to infer and be done with it? 
He was texting his girlfriend and driving. He couldn't pay attention. Somebody the person was driving and texting his girlfriend. What were they arguing about? About why he... About who cooking and texting and driving. Keep, you can keep adding your ideas. <laughs> All right? So he's cheating. Go ahead and put it. What else could have happened? Oh my gosh. What a, did you write that one? Right? What about he was drinking? So you see how it doesn't say that information in the six word memoir you are able to use your prior knowledge to figure it out. We do some amazing things over here at Highland Springs High School and we're so glad you guys were able to witness it and see what our kids are capable of doing. Thank you for watching. <laughs>